Aristita, what projects are you working on these days? Okay, uh, one is called Dala Transit, and it's actually an attempt to use the historical avant-garde texts from written in the 20s and 30s by uh, within the Dada movement uh, as a starting point and platform for reinventing a, a sort of um, dictionary for loving life in the 20 and being able to cope with life in the 21st century. So Why we're using we Dada. Why do we need that? Because I think the world, I, I think there are two things. First of all, Dada is, in my opinion, the only avant-garde from the five historical avant-gardes in, that are connected to theater or performance that still stands a century later. Uh, second of all, uh, I think that's very important and it's a point of reference. The other thing is I think we live in a world that is Dada. It's a mixture of absurdity, playfulness, uh, intelligence, madness, stupidity, I think, uh, and I don't mean Romania lives in the world Dada. I think there are different versions of Dada. So the sixties were absurd. Now our time is rather described by the Dada. I think so. I think mm. it's the only avant-garde. I mean, there's some sorts of humor that comes from the radical humor that I that comes from detachment against a very interesting. Um, political and social context that is similar now to what it was a century ago. But there is so much uh, more uh, social involvement these days. Look at uh, um, revolutions in the Islamic worlds, look at um, Occupy um, yeah. movements. But they happen, these yeah, it's true, better. but I think, there's a, I think there's a big problem between the um, activism on Facebook. The, the, there's a gap between the activism on Facebook or the online activism and the real activism that takes people further. I think there's a movement of, of, uh, how should I say, of waking up, but we don't know where this will lead because there's a failure, in my opinion, of several systems of, of organizing society. I mean, capitalism is dead, uh, is socialism is dead, well, in this version, they, in this neoliberal version, that. yeah, they don't. But in this neoliberal version, I don't think, I don't think it will last long. So we don't know where it will lead. Um, is this kind? And of we feel disempowered. I think one problem is we don't know where it will lead, which is, hap which I think happens historically many, many times. Um, but I think, in spite of all the things that you have around us and all the uh, commodities that surround us, we feel less empowered to act upon our lives and upon our surroundings. So we limit our, our actions to small things, mm -hmm. smaller things. So theatre is sort of a symptom of what social reality is. Um, think of the uh, absurd theatre in the time of absurd uh, um, social reality and now this uh, your need for, for a yeah. revival of the Dada um, theatre as a symptom for the, the world we live in. Uh, what are you seeking in your, your theatre experiments? Do you seek something to, to find something that did not exist in the history of theatre or something that did exist and was lost? Well, first of all, and I'm being a big academic here, I think theater is a, it's not a medium, it's a hyper medium that tends to absorb, and it has always been, tends to absorb elements and uh, conventions, artistic conventions and cliches from other arts. What does it mean, hyper medium? Hyper medium means more than a medium. More than a medium, a medium that is able to absorb and synthesize somehow elements from other arts. So it has this ability. Uh, first of all, second of all, I think uh, the world has discovered, and I'm talking about the Western world because that's what I know better. World has discovered that there's theatricality in an everyday life, and uh, life can be or become a performance. That's the second thing. And um, there has been an attempt, Dada did this, by the way, then the 60s, Fluxus and all, uh, Boys and all this, 
did this. There, there has been an attempt to connect life with art or to reconnect life with art because that's the, that's the problem. Theatre becomes so perfect that it sort of becomes a bubble in itself. So there's this attempt to reconnect art with life. So and there was attempt, a connection yeah. that has been lost somewhere. In, it keeps in being past. lost and recovered. So mm-hmm. I think it's a cyclic, cyclical movement. That's one thing. The other thing is being a hypermedium means it tends to absorb all the new things coming from other arts. And I think that's what I'm looking in experimental theatre. This ability to, to uh, explore new things in, within the frame of theatre. And this ability to keep whatever you develop and whatever you do, to keep connected to the reality that we experience. Whether it's social reality, inner reality, what have you, but keep it contemporary. Arisita Bukan, thank you so much for being with Seven Times After All. Thank you. Dada e un microb virgin. Dada e împotriva vieții scumpe. Dada, societate anonimă pentru exploatarea ideilor. Dada are 391 de culori și de altitudini diferite după sexul președintelui. Dada este cameleonul schimbării rapide și interesate. Aflăm din anumite ziare că negrii cru numesc coada unei vaccinte dar cubul și mama într-o anumită regiune a Italiei, Dada. Un cadere, doi ca în franceză, dupla afirmație în rusește și românește, Dada. Dada a murit? Trăiască Dada! Subscrieți la Dada, singurul împrumut care nu aduce niciun câștig. Bye bye! Și nu uitați, insigna Dada se poartă!